Hello everyone and welcome to Quick Tip Tuesdays. My name is Carl and in this series I'll give you some useful tips for Blender, Unreal Engine and more. In today's video I'll show you how to create custom matte caps in Blender. It's very handy while sculpting and can give you a more accurate idea of your geometry. So to create your own matte cap, you simply need to create a material and set up some lighting until you're happy with the look. So this is a simple car paint material that I made that you can adjust the color by changing the U values. And I also added an HDRI texture for the environment to supply the lighting for our scene. I got this texture on HDRI Haven and they have a whole bunch of textures that you can look through, download and use for free. I'll put a link to the blend file in the description as well in case you want to have a look at how I created this material. Cool, so let's create our matte cap from this material and to do that we need to set up a camera that contains the entirety of our sphere like I have here. And for the output settings I'm going to set that to 512 by 512 pixels and then you can press F12 to render and we get this image. Also make sure you have a transparent background so just click on your render properties, go down to film, and then just make sure transparent is enabled. Now if we press F12, it'll render our sphere, and we can press Shift Alt S to save. And we can save it wherever you want. You can see I already made three different variations. So let's just save the red one again, and there we have it. And now we can add those PNGs as matte caps to Blender. So let's switch over to solid mode. And if you click on this little drop down, you can click on matte caps. And we can choose any of them and if you want to add more we can simply click on edit preferences click on lights and there we have our custom matte caps and you can click on install go to where your matte caps are saved and then we can select them all click install light and there we have them now they should be available for us over here here we go now we can choose any of these and the cool thing about this now is if you create a new project Let's add some subdivisions by pressing Ctrl-5 and to view our material with the matte cap applied we can simply click on this arrow, select matte caps, click on the matte cap icon and then select any of your new materials. There we go. So now if you add any new object, let's add the monkey, scale that up a bit, shade smooth, let's just subdivide. Now we can see what our monkey would look like with that type of material applied. Cool, and that is it. I hope this helps. If you liked the video, please click like. And if you didn't like it or didn't find it useful, don't feel bad to click dislike as it helps me choose the best topics for future videos. Thanks again for watching and remember to throw a smile at someone who needs it. Keep on learning and have a great day.